signed a bill to increase penalties on straw gun purchases in Minnesota and outlaw binary triggers. Binary triggers are the devices that allow a gun to fire once when pulled and again when the trigger is released. People across the Red River Valley may remember them as the device used by the man who ambushed Fargo police last summer to make his weapon fire almost like an automatic weapon. In fact, Officer Zach Robinson understandably thought it was an automatic weapon that day. Here's what it sounded like. Take a listen. Central, we got a man with an AK-47. He's shooting at us. We're at not long after the shooting, North Dakota Attorney General Drew Wrigley expressed his dislike for binary triggers, but stopped short of calling for them to be banned. It's a worthless piece of equipment. It's a valueless piece of equipment, but it was lawful and it was attached to the weapon lawfully and then used for the only purpose I, with my limited imagination, can even imagine to create the functional equivalent of automatic fire. The same type of device was used by the man who killed first responders in Burnsville, Minnesota earlier this year. Law enforcement at the ceremonial bill signing event, the St. Paul Police Department, showed support for Minnesota's move. The binary triggers are make our communities more dangerous. And, you know, when you can shoot more rounds off when you're pulling that trigger, you're more likely to hurt more people. So anything we can do to, to minimize that and reduce that. But Minnesota Republicans voted against the measure. Monday night, the state Senate Republican caucus put out a statement calling it bad policy, adding many manufacturers sell firearms with binary triggers, calling it pretty standard model these days, and pointing out that there is no buyback or compensation program for people who already own guns with binary triggers, who will have to get rid of them in Minnesota by January 1st. Minnesota joins about a dozen other states who have already outlawed binary triggers. Again, they are still legal in North Dakota. Take a look.